Hello there and welcome to the Newton's Law of Cooling Lab. Uh, what we did in this lab was we took this and you can see that this is a pan of water and this was ice water. There were ice cubes in this water and this water inside here in the little thing there in the little beaker was actually um, boiling hot water. Okay. So we poured boiling hot water in the middle beaker, and there was ice water in the outer beaker. And the heat flowed from the hot water to the cold water. And we had a computer probe, one of these uh, vernier temperature probes, in that bath of water like this. And it measured the temperature. And we measured it every 10 seconds, but we're just going to look at it every 100 seconds in this lab. Now, Newton's law of cooling says that the heat flow rate, which is actually the rate at which this temperature is going to drop, the rate at which the temperature will drop is proportional to the temperature itself. In this case, we're comparing it to zero Celsius, roughly, right? So we would write for this thing a, a little equation like this. Our hypothesis is that the temperature at any given time is equal to E the original temperature, e to the minus kT. Okay? So this is the temperature, T with no subscript is the temperature at any given time. That's the original hot temperature. Right? This is some constant. Right? We're going to calculate that constant. And this is uh, the time that the temperature is this. And so the way it works is, of course, this is going to be an exponential curve. Exponential curves look like this. It's going to be an exponential decay. At first, we expect if this is temperature and this is time, okay, we expect at first there's a big temperature difference, so the heat flows out quickly and the temperature drops quickly. Later on, it's less of a temperature difference, so the heat flows more slowly. Okay. Okay, so we we did the graph, and the data file is in the Excel spreadsheet data in this same folder. Um, we did the lab, and we got that the original temperature is 66.88 degrees Celsius at time zero. At 100 seconds, it was 24.54 degrees Celsius. At 200 seconds, it was 12.32 degrees Celsius. At 300 seconds, it was 7.77 degrees Celsius. At 400 seconds, it was 5.81 degrees Celsius. And at 500 seconds, it was 5.36 degrees Celsius. So these are both degrees Celsius. And all of these times are, are in uh, seconds. And we think that our temperature is plus or minus 0.1 degrees Celsius. We think our time is probably plus or minus 0 0.001 seconds. That would be my guess. So you want to put that all in a very nice IB-like data table um, and do all those IB things that you can IB do, like uh, uncertainty units, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate the K. Now, our formula is that uh, T equals the original temperature E to the minus KT, like this. And if we solve this for K, which we're going to want to do, we're going to go uh, T over T naught, what, the natural log of that equals minus KT. And then finally, because we're so smart, K is going to equal the natural log of T naught over T and uh, and you can look it up. I just did a little thing there. I just switched the thing there to get rid of the minus sign. So this is this temperature here. This is the original, right? And then this is just the temperature at a particular time. At this time, right? And so we've got the original temperature here, and we can use this formula to calculate K here, 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 and here. 
Okay, now, if k is a constant, and we calculate it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times, it should be the same. But maybe, maybe it won't be, right? So this is something we can talk about. If our, if our hypothesis is correct, then k will be the same. Let me calculate k here for uh, <coughs> this first point here, the 100 seconds, right? k is equal to, well, the original temperature, and it'll always be this. So it's ln, the original temperature is 66.88, right, divided by the temperature at that time, 24.54, right, divided by the time, which is 100 seconds. And these are going to change. This will stay the same as you calculate your case. If I calculate that, let me do that now. If I'm so clever and I put that in my calculator, I'm getting that k, at least for that first point, is 0 0.0100. Zero zero is like, there we go. And it really has the units of, actually, since this is seconds, this has the units of 1 over seconds, seconds to the minus 1, like that. OK, so this is my first value of k. You're going to calculate 1, 2, 3, 4 more values of k um, for this lab. Okay. And you're also going to make a good graph of this, okay? Take a piece of graph paper like this and make this this axis here. I think if you use this graph paper, you can make this go up to 100 degrees Celsius, and then you can make this go from zero, 0 seconds to 500 seconds. It all works out somehow. I think here it's like this is two major lines is 10 degrees Celsius. Four major lines here, one, two, three, four. Is a hundred. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Yeah, I think that works out. A hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, then five hundred seconds like that. So you're going to make a very nice graph. You can uh, give it a title, label the axes with units, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then there are some questions that you need to answer. And here's the lab. Notice um, in the lab. This goes away. This goes away because our our final or surrounding temperature is zero, right? And then we started with it already changing, so our original time is zero, and that's why our formula looks like T equals T naught e to the minus kT. That's a service that I provide, right? And then you're going to want to answer these questions. There's there's uh, questions A, B, C, and D. A is just asking about why why is it steep at the beginning and not so steep later. B is insulating the beaker. The beaker we're talking about is this inner beaker here. Okay? You know, what if you insulate this beaker? What if I replace this beaker here, not the surrounding thing, but this one with, say, styrofoam or something? Uh, and the heat would, you know, like, think about it, right? Okay, don't want to give it away. And then uh, C is a question that somebody was asked on their PhD uh, defense. Somebody asked this question of them. And so I won't spoil it, but read it carefully and use Newton's law of cooling, which is here, okay, <laughs> that concept to explain why, which answer is which. And then D is evaluate as per IB evaluation criteria. So talk about the hypothesis there. You can talk about the shape of the graph, and you can you can talk about the value of K, et cetera, et cetera, uh, sources of error, and then ways reasonably that you could improve it. Um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the show.